Libyans gave a hero's welcome to British Prime Minister David Cameron and French President Nicolas Sarkozy. They are the first Western leaders to visit Tripoli since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi's government. In the end, this was what the Libyans did themselves, and I wanted to come and congratulate them and work out how we can help next. Six months ago, Britain and France led the NATO no-fly zone to protect Libyan citizens. Ali Ajali, the Libyan ambassador to the U.S., says the West-backed intervention was vital. On 19th of March, if France did not act to stop Gaddafi's troops, then Benghazi, it will be the biggest symmetry in the history of North Africa. In August, opposition forces took over Tripoli and established their National Transitional Council in the capital. Numerous countries now recognize the NTC as Libya's legitimate government. Hani Khalaf, an Egyptian envoy to Libya, says it's time for a shift away from Western military intervention. VOA spoke to him via Skype. NATO should stop its, uh, uh, its uh, attacks and operations, military operations right away. Because the need for uh, uh, protecting civilians are now uh, not anymore. As NATO's role winds down, the United Nations steps up. A UN support mission will focus on rebuilding. Assets will be unfrozen for humanitarian aid, and so companies can resume business. Hafed al Guel is a Libyan opposition activist living in Washington. The most important part that a UN structure can give Libya is a sense of security and stability. So you don't leave the political uh, haggling to people with guns, because that's what's going to happen. Western countries are also looking to invest in Libya, especially in its oil, but to avoid post-war mistakes of the past. Jean Kretz is the U.S. ambassador to Libya. One lesson that we've all learned um, is that this will be a Libyan-led uh, process and that while we each have a huge stake in its success that we must follow the Libyan lead and help and support and not dictate a path that they should be on. Libyans obviously have had enough of dictators. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.